Hi guys, I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with John E. Hoover. But I would say of all the videos that have been brought to my attention, this is probably the most or closest to something that I actually think is a real, uh, a real thing. And I do. What we do see in John's video is mind-blowing. But I would say of all the things I've seen, that is got the makings of something that's just really something. There's something there, man. And I do think there's gunfire in that room at that particular moment. It's not a coincidence. It's not something else. That's 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 a that's a weapon being fired up there. Check this out.
basically there has been uh, accusations or beliefs there's there's some explosives going off. <laughs> that is also false. The only explosive contained in this event was from our SWAT team breaching the room. We are live this morning. Uh, we are in Riyadh, and we are very happy uh, to have with us Prince uh, Al Walid. Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, we are overlooking uh, Riyadh this morning uh, with you, uh, and uh, you're going to be with us for the hour. So thank you. Pleasure to be with you, uh, Your Tennessee. Highness. Uh, so much to talk about, uh, given in large part that Saudi is going through a remarkable transformation. Uh, this 2030 vision. Uh, we are here in large part you know, also because throughout the week there's going to be a major conference uh, with business leaders coming from all over. Um, let's just talk about this vision, the transformation uh, of Saudi. Uh, do you support it? You haven't spoken publicly about it yet. Yeah. Bismillah uh, rahim Pleasure to be with you on CNBC. Yes, I'm in full support of what's going on because uh, uh, a few years ago, before King Salman took over, I went public with many of my uh, requests and requirements to safeguard the interests of Saudi Arabia. And as you know, the economy is the vein of any country. And the economy of Saudi Arabia uh, uh, in 13, 14, and, and somehow in the beginning of 15 was not doing very good because we were so much dependent on oil. 92% of our budget was dependent on oil. And asked publicly that this is dangerous. So you had to have diversification, you had to have a sovereign wealth fund, and you have to have the less dependent on oil. Clearly, when King Salman took over and Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who was appointed recently as the, uh, as the crown prince, took the initiative of, the, um, of uh, initiating the 2030 vision, uh, clearly all those uh, requirements were fulfilled. So I'm full support of it, yes. And frankly speaking right now, uh, Saudi Arabia is in the midst of a major uh, overhaul and change on all fronts, economical, financial, social, entertainment, uh, and even political. So really, uh, uh, we, we always heard uh, about the so-called Arab Spring in certain Arab countries. So this is our version, our Saudi version of Arab Spring, our peaceful Arab, uh, uh, Arab Spring. So what's happening right now is not an evolution. Frankly speaking, I'll use the taboo. This is a revolution that's happening right now, albeit a very peaceful one in Saudi Arabia.